I never expected it to take this much time between Love By You and now, but I guess there was just a lot of growing that I needed to do. I, um, I learned that I was really profiting from my brokenness as a songwriter, like, and as an artist as well, you, you get rewarded for not being whole because you write great music out of your pain. But I think at some point I had to really work on healing and say, okay, Kirby, you know, as beautiful as Love By You is, I know it comes from a woman who desperately wanted to be loved by a man at that time. And how much longer am I gonna be okay with that being my narrative? Well, something tells me you know what I mean and you'll feel the same. My hope and my prayer is that, like songs like Vain and these, you know, these other songs that I have coming out, that it's obvious that love is beautiful, love is amazing. I have experienced love that makes getting up in the morning like a, a uh, an adventure, like it just makes the world a better place. As corny as that sounds, it's real, but I also know too that as in love as I've been, there's always this place that no one else can get to. And I think all of us kind of have that place and we as women have to be like, okay, God, that's your place and no man can really fulfill that and, and, I, and no placement can fulfill that neither. Like I learned too, like, you know, I thought, getting a placement or working with certain people would make me, would validate me to the point where I would be okay. And when it didn't, I had to say, all right, you gotta work on yourself and heal because there's all of these exterior things that you're trying to accomplish so that you can finally love yourself. It's not gonna work. And so that's where healing comes from as well. where healing comes from as well. Tell me I'm healing from this feeling. Tell me I'm healing. And I finally think, <laughs> Lord, it's been a long time coming, but I finally think that I am.